tried him last month and he might not have been in his best form. A dirty nose afterwards actually. But he stopped a two and a half mile. He looked as though he was going to be a big player in that race and he stopped a bit. He's got plenty of, he cruised through the race. So he's fast run two miles is perfect for him. And Vision de Flo had a breathing up and he won a pretty decent race at Exeter last time out. Yeah, but he's only making a little gulp. Um, he won a listed race by 31 lengths. It's whether the other, the other ones perform, but sometimes in heavy ground we see that these, these results exaggerated. He's obviously a lovely horse now, and he, he'd probably go in the two and a half. Sam Crow and all the rest go there. He could he could revert back. He's not slow anyway. He could. I think he's in the two and the two and a half. So we got that we got that choice. And a couple of others we saw. Um, Aintree and Lost in Translation. Yeah, Aintree's a big baby. Um, it's a huge race. It's a lot of horse he's got. I don't. We've not seen the best of him. That's we probably won't see the best of him for two years. But he's a horse on the improve. And he looked as though he was going to win at Sandown when he sort of dived and fell. Well, thank God he got up. That was my overriding feeling straight away. It wasn't, oh, we've lost a race. It was, thank God he's got up because he is a cracking horse for the future. I see no reason why he can't run in these big races because that's, you know, the, the good young horses, they learn, they learn their trade in these races. And lost in translation, he was lame last time. No, I don't think he was lame. He just didn't run very well. Haydock, he, he, he didn't run his race. Well, that's that's his baby horses. He had a dirty nose. When you say dirty, he's only for, for two weeks afterwards, he was fine. Then he had this dirty nose. And, what, and that's been the case with our horses. It's not, they look superb. They run and they run poorly. And, you think, and then about two and a half, three weeks time, they have a dirty nose for a week. I think the dirty nose is, is the end of it. That's just a clearing and then we're away. So it's not like a, it's not this word virus. I'm gonna to to change this because everyone's talking about a virus all the time. It's, there's a lot more worse viruses about than what we've got anyway. White Moon, lovely looking horse. You're, you're leaning towards the three miler with this yeah, one. Yeah, I think he will. He looks a, he's a big, strong, powerful horse. It's not short speed, but He's a strong stayer, and his first couple of runs in the autumn were brilliant. And um, then he had a little setback. He's been back in, schooled him the day first time. He just looks fantastic, and um, we have a good two weeks f for uh, strong work. And he'll be he'll be ready to go. In Kilbrick and Storm, where are we likely to yeah, see him? Yeah, got the same race. He go in the three miler. He's not very fast at home, and we one time he stepped out to three one. Last time, yeah, it was right in the middle of that. Christmas period when we wouldn't know if what form was good and what was bad because we didn't there's other there's other things behind it we all all think we know how good he is you have these things in stables where they got none of their horses run quite so well as they can or some some don't get it and some run better so we're guessing all the time well to be fair we're guessing most of the time was you know, educated guess I'd say but um, okay well one final guess then uh, best chance of the week at Cheltenham well, we'd go for the big one. We'd do Native River. It's the biggest race of the week. Um, and he's had that ideal prep. Still got three weeks to go, but uh, he's got the form in the book. It should be fresh.